Okay, that's confusing. The settings page is called Backstage, and the game is very, very loud. Uh, hello everyone, welcome uh, to uh, Illusion Carnival. Uh, I was trying to play Indigo Park, actually, um, earlier, but it just broke my entire stream and it froze everything. So we're doing this now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, as you can see, this is a very stylistic, very unique looking game. Uh, I don't even know what it's about. I did not read like the description or anything, so... I was just recommended this by someone in my Discord server. This game contains flashing lights and rapidly changing images, which can trigger photosensitive epilepsy or other similar symptoms. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, read that if you're sensitive to photos and stuff. Cool. Alright, Illusion Carnival. Hell yeah. Yeah, um, Indigo Park was a disaster. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in, hold and drag the left mouse button into the crown. Okay. Double click the left mouse button to reset your view. Okay. Simple enough. There's not really a lot of range. I'm guessing WASD to move. Yeah. We are ball. Look, ball. Oh yeah. Confettia. Oh great, another theme park based uh, game. However, this looks great. This looks so unique. Walk up to other characters, space to start a conversation. What's up, dude? My name is Ball. I come here from Poland. I am here to explore a carnival. Z hey, hey, we have a visitor here. What? Uh, uh, another visitor arrived swiftly? Welcome! Hey, Tiny. You don't seem to have a ticket. No worries at all. For all lost souls, we offer our services free of charge. Would you like to get your tickets to Confettia now? Yeah, sure. So what should we call you? My name is... Paper? Uh, Bongo. No. Backshots. Yes. My name is Backshots. Backshots. Good. I remember that. Are you sure about this name? Yep. That's my name. Yes. Here's a present for you. A special paper craft. Make sure to take good care of it. Hell yeah. It's interesting how, our, how the default name was Paper. And as a special gift for all our visitors, we prepare unique costumes for dressing up. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh look, we have we have Het. Oh. Enjoy the park as a lovely paper boat and don't ever get lost again. They said angrily. Oh. We're floating. Okay, brilliant. Hey. Dude, the art here is so it's gorgeous. I like it so much. Also, this vaguely reminds me of What was that game called? Liminal Gallery. Like the rotating squares. The, the rotating square frames, I don't know, there was something about it. Look at this! Hello. <laughs> Just a casual paper boat flying about, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, it seems legit. Welcome. Shift to turn into a paper boat and dash. Cool. Oh wait, our character actually looks like something. Oh, look at that. Get closer to objects with stars on them, space to investigate. Okay. Wait, that's a star. Can I investigate that? No, I guess not. Uh, okay, this way then. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, those kinds of stars, I see. Tips for lost souls. There's so many weird buddies here. But don't be afraid, they'll, they'll be glad to show you around. There's something on the back of the note. Looking forward to, see you, to seeing you in person. Oh no. Oh great, someone knows we're here. Beautiful. I'm sure there's nothing sinister going on. Hello. Oh, that's locked. A lock with a toy-like texture, but you don't have the key. Of course, we need to find the key. How could I have been so blind? The key ending is what they call it. Hello. That's a... What is that? <laughs> yeah, without the description, like, could you... I, I have no idea what that is. Brick? A toy block. Oh, of course, it's a toy block. Pat? You pat it with your paper arm. Imagine the pain it may feel. Ouch. You notice that the... What? That's... You notice that the color on the block has been dyed onto it as the paint comes off onto your arm. Fair. Uh... Okay, so the paint from the block has went onto our sleeve. That's interesting. Uh... I mean, this train has a star on it. Can we... Cotton candy comes out of the chimney. 
The sugary smell might sweeten your teeth off if you if you still have any. Okay. Cool. Uh, interesting. I still don't know what this game is about. Currently, we're just kind of walking around this carnival, and we can like dash and shit. This is kind of kind of neat. Oh, present. A gift box that beckons you to open it, and it's just the right size for you. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Jeez, the ribbon of the box is hairy. Then you realize it's a soft, fluffy stuffed toy. See what you find underneath? A key! Oh, hell yeah. We have a backpack. Pink key. A plastic key with a toy-like texture. So it's probably not for the main door. It's probably for, like, uh, someone else. Wait, I just realized my mouse cursor on the street is on screen. I'm going to move it. Because that's going to be annoying for anybody watching. Oh. Oh, wait. We just... Okay, we got obscured. I mean, hey. So far, cute little game. A building block with a number on it. You touch it noticing that it's soft. It doesn't have any sharp edges. You guess it could be a pillow shaped like it could be a pillow shaped like a block. Interesting. All right, well, let's try out the key on the door. I doubt it'll work, but like I don't know, maybe use the key. Oh, never mind. It was just a toy. Okay, cool. The toy key was for the toy lock. Interesting. I mean... Like, so far this game seems like it's for, like, kids. But I... You know, I'm not stupid. Um, this is bound to have some, like, horror elements to it. And it's probably a little, uh... A little more, uh... How do you say? Sinister than it seems. Oh look, it is plankton! <laughs> it is plankton butterfly, wow. Hello. Do you like hurt me or something? You alright? You good? Dude. Am I in a fever dream? Like, shh. Fair. Surprise! The color, the colorless, the, the colorless back shots. <laughs> it's bad that I forget. I said my name as that already. Our protagonist has finally arrived at the stage. I am Delarini. I am Delarini. I shall be your tour guide. I will guide you uh, in your journey through Confettia. But first, I've prepared you a little opening performance. Interesting. First act. The, oh, spikes. Oh, chainsaws. Oh. Round chainsaws. Oh. Back shots. Stop hiding. Embrace your ending in this splendid welcome from... Confetti. Okay. I mean, I don't think I was hiding. I, I was just kind of... No? Why is it my business if you two are having fun? Well, why can't I still speak? Oh, does it take this long to die? Does it take it this long to die? Uh, our visitor backshots who just entered Confetti is already faced with... Huh? Who are you? Demetria. Huh? What? what? Where did you... Why are you... Huh? Is it... Why are we having a second visitor? Don't mind. The second one should die in a second. Uh... Huh? Nice try. But look at yourself. Have you ever felt pain up until now? Didn't I bleed out to the point that I can no longer feel pain? Wait. There's not even a single wound? Was I impaled for real? Why didn't I feel anything? Yes, yes, why? Uh, because we're already dead. Not there yet. Oh. In order to die from wounds, one should at least have a physical body, right? But here you're just souls. Of course, you can never get hurt, nor can you die of physical wounds. Your flesh bodies are safe and sound in the world above. Above? Then this place must be... Limbo. Yes, of course, that is the, the right conclusion to draw. So are we all ghosts after all? Haha, <laughs> Jesus. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is the place between the underworld and the mortal world. If the underworld and mortal world are the two pieces of meat of a burger, then this place would be the bun in the middle. Yep, yep, that is how limbo works. Huh? Ah. Wrong order of words. In short, no one can die here, right? 
Indeed. No one can die here anyway, so let's do it again. Holy shit, this is chaotic. <laughs> this is absolute chaos. My brain is uh, all over the place right now. Well, hello, Demetria. Uh, what's up? See? Amazing, isn't it? You can hardly find your way without a guide and confetti with all these unusual paths. Uh, why did you attack us? Where did you take us? We got attacked? I couldn't even tell. <laughs> to Demetria. What's wrong with his head? Um, whose head? I, I don't... Is your is your head wrong? I'm I'm curious about that. I don't. I'm still inspecting. So am I. Huh? Talking to you reminds me of the last visitor on my tour. What happened to that person? What happened? What? What? Oh, great. Yep. What did you say? Oh, by the way, before your tour starts officially, have you ever thought about how amazing it is to be immortal? Your adventures can last forever. Does that mean if we can't find the exit, we'll be stuck here forever? Well. Not that there aren't other ways, but I think it's a bit too early for that. Because compared to death, there is something worse. Eternal torture? Souls won't suffer physical death, however, souls still have spirits. When your spirit is eroded completely, it will collapse. You will fall into utter madness, and there is no way back. However, no one will die here. You can only lose your sanity, but never your life. What happens in that endless madness, I wonder? Listen carefully. Yeah, very existential so far. It's a carnival of spiritual death only. Spiritual death. Dear visitors, this is the end of our guided tour. From now on, every step you take in the park, every joy and sorrow you share will become your very own story. So I hope you embrace the most delightful of emotions and have a nice tour. Yeah, I feel that. Hi, I made this from Hello Foreign. Um, um, um. The top left corner shows how much spirit you have left. Okay, I'm happy I didn't put my face cam there. Oh no. Escape the ghost. See ya. Shift to turn to a paper boat. During the dash, you are immune to spirit damage from the abnormal. Okay. Um, so this is a game called Illusion Carnival for it. It's about um, being a piece of paper in a carnival, I guess. And we're like running away from something. I don't know what it is. I can't lie. Okay. This way, right. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be Jover. It's gonna be so Jover. Nope, bye. Okay, so I think we're supposed to escape the ghosts. And we escape the ghosts by um, dodging through them. So, like that. Yep, yeah. okay, good shit. I need to be fast as well, so we need to dash a bit more often. Right, well, it seems simple enough. Cannot lie. This way, this way, this way, this way. Yep. Let's go left this time. Nice. How? Where do these hands come from all of a sudden? My brain feels like... Feels like... What? what? My brain feels melting when I'm touched by them. Oh. No, not the fingies. Well. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you, Demetria. It was nice knowing you, I guess. Oh, no. Eyeballs. Great. Uh, I prefer to be here. No, okay. Dude. <laughs> Backshots, do you know it? In your journey ahead, you will face even more spectacular, abnormal, eager... What? In your journey ahead, you will face even more spectacular, abnormal, eager to eat you. Is eager a noun? I have no idea. Told you I'd make it to the streams. Yeah, you did. Welcome. That is to say, you cannot get away. I'm not sure if you're tough enough to survive long enough to find the ultimate exit of the park. But seriously, reaching the exit may not be the best choice, should we say. Wanna know a secret? I know the best way to get home. I pity you. I truly hope you can reach the best ending. That outcome would indeed be ideal for Confettia, and it's a time I anticipate more than anyone else. If you allow it, I hope to clear the abnormal for you, ensuring a smooth journey ahead. Unfortunately, it's your story, therefore I can't interfere. After all, backshots, this is the endless carnival hosted only for you. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Hey. Nice. Wow. Um. Crazy. Actually insane. 
So there's space to pick up a dessert. Tap to open your backpack. Double left click mouse or press number keys to eat. Okay. So I can get these things. Cool. Um. Welcome aboard the welcome cable of our park. We will show you the wonder of confetti. Set off your spirit and imagination. Cool. We are committed to providing a unique experience for every one of our visitors. The fantastic environment and colorful palette has always been our most favorite. Okay. Speaking of this, I must mention the transportation pipe spreading uh, Okay. All thanks to our unique aesthetic. I can't read that fast. I need to read out loud. <laughs> no, our secret recipe. Uh, is that these paints? Oh my god. Why don't you have your color? Every paint has its own personality. See, pink is enthusiastic. Carve a smile on every face, every iron face. Uh, cheerfully taking off skin, enthusiastic, taking care of. Uh, 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 yep. A cheer a cheerful, a cheerful, che yep. Yeah, okay, cool. D yep. I did not. I did not process any of that. We want to eat it. I'll join back later. See you soon. See you for it. Eat it. Is that delicious? I want a bite too. What happened to your face? Is that delicious? I want a bite too. What happened to your face? Is that delicious? I want a bite too. You're just gonna keep doing that? What happened to your face? What happened to it? Tell me! No way. No, it's not allowed! I'm telling you, I've noticed it already. If I pulled the paper bow off your head, then there must be a bald patch underneath. Who, who are you? Me? I am. Ugh. You lost soul. How can you expect to find your way home safely in this chaotic world of confetti? Well, let me teach you something important. First, take that paper boat off. Never mind that for a moment. How did you get that paper fortune teller? It's a fortune teller? Quick, pick a number. Four. Pick a direction. North. The direction of fate will be... Little Silly's hat tip. What? Great, then I will start eating from... Y you Little Silly's hat tip? Up. This game is ridiculous. I I don't know what's happening. You are not listening at all. Well, do you have any idea why abnormal wants to eat you that much? So that was abnormal, the fingers and stuff. Their one and only desire is to feast on fear and desperation. And their attack, your soul will ooze black and white paint, like wounds oozing blood under a bandage. That is to say, rare colorless preys like you are exactly their favorite. Well, little, little paper boat, let me tell you a secret. Abnormal shouldn't have invaded this park. They abruptly came through this place one day and nobody could do a thing about it Only the paper craft in your hand is specially prepared for visitors. It can reverse the abnormal That paper craft is that paper craft is called on or occurred. Okay Listen carefully Long press, okay This game is like goddamn psychedelics, ADHD, and like meth all at the same time. ADHD isn't even a drug. It could be here though. Long press A to expand the range. Re release to, rever to reverse the abnormal within the range. Approach abnormal with pink symbols. Long press E to expand the range. Release to reverse the abnormal within the range. Okay, like that. Okay, there's some gaming here now. Uh... Okay, so those weird shapes and stuff are... Why is there so much confetti? I don't get it. See, that's the power of the Oricard's shock. Physical body and wounds don't exist in this world. To overcome an opponent, the only way is to use spiritual powers. You just need a stronger mind than your opponent to suppress them, or even reflect the spiritual effect onto them. 
Oracourt is a medium for such. The instantaneous shock generates a burst of spiritual energy, enough to reverse the state enough to reverse the state of your opponent. Play your boat, tiny little paper boat. Do you have any idea on what it means to hold the Oracord? Whether you like it or not, the fate of confetti is under your control, a little bit. Okay, so we got special powers called the Oracord. What? You said your name is Backshots? None of my business. <laughs> Alright, if I keep our protagonist here for too long, our audience would get mad. Go on with your sailing. Ah. Almost forgot the most important thing. I haven't taken a bite out of you yet. You are the abnormal! Okay, well, that's uh, unfortunate. Jesus, okay. Um. Yeah, the whole sequence where we had to read this th the things. It was. Uh, I didn't catch any of that just because, like, I would have. I can't read that fast while streaming. Hold on. Nice. Okay. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, cool. I think I'm getting a hang of this. Uh. Wait, do the thing! Do the thing! I, dude, dude, just do the thing. Oh, wait, no, I was using the E ability. Sorry, I was using spacebar when I was supposed to be using E. My bad. Okay, we're supposed to find the gaps in the thing. Dude, I am not doing well here. Okay. <laughs> Great. Wow. So, the, 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 we were given the oracord, and then the person that gave us it is not actually good. Be silent. Hello? Was this place always that dark? Didn't remember it correctly? Ye Ouch, you startled me. How are you still alive? Those cuties treated you way too nicely. What a bunch of idiots. Idiots? It everything is for me then. Grins. Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you when we've met. Your dandruff count is explosively high. Thank you for commenting on my dandruff. I appreciate it. We have arrived at the terminal of the welcome cable. Thank you for joining us. Our welcome cable will forever welcome you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, only gave us this little time to chat? Someone must be really impatient. So this is a this is a demo, by the way. The full game is uh, I don't know when it's gonna be released. I think it was like this year, but yeah, I'm not sure. Back shots. Do you know how wonderful it would be if all abnormal in Confetia are fixed? No one's mind and spirit will ever get hurt. It'll be a perfect amusement park of pure innocence. You will no longer be exposed to fear, and no soul will ever collapse. No human will ever die here. Confetia, that. Confetia is most. Yes. Confetia is most. I agree. I think that would be the best ending. Yeah, no, I. Uh, me too. Uh, can't you do it yourself? I don't care, I just want to go home. I'll try not to get squashed. Yeah, I, 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 I feel that sentiment the most, I can't lie. Well, why is there an E here? Alright, do you need my help to fold yourself up? Why is there an E? I could even style your hair. I'm quite talented in handcraft. Click clack. Hello, BP. It has been so long since I caught a stream. Hello, Mr. Grass. Hello, BP. I'm playing a game called uh, Illusion Carnival. And it's this really weird, like, ADHD, psychedelic sort of, like... Like, like... I'm just, I'm just severely overwhelmed. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I can even style your hair. I'm quite talented in handcraft. Click, click. Uh, no paper cuts. Ha. How about a slanted fridge? Fringe. Or a mohawk? No, not the mohawk, please. Maybe you want to be bald or a breadhead. No, please not not bald. All right, confetti is still waiting for you. See ya, paper boat. Who are you after all? As you can see, I am Illusia. I've told you so many secrets. Don't tell anyone else. Okay, hello, Illusia. Including I am Illusia. No problem. Because Illusia doesn't exist. There is no illusion. I feel that. I feel that. 
Dude, I have never taken any hard drugs in my life, but I assume this is what it would feel like. So yeah. Um, welcome, by the way. BP. Jesus. I am so confused. Okay, my health is not good. At all. This piece of paper fell along with you, but you don't think you have ever seen it before. On the paper is a sketch of some kind of soft-bodied ocean creature, or maybe just a couple of tangled crooked lines. Was it some immature kid that put it on your back while you were distracted? Maybe. Soft-bodied ocean creature. Interesting. My brain hurts watching this. My brain has been hurting for the past, like, half hour or however long I've been playing this. Confetti's classic welcome, welcoming event. The tour of the welcome cable is coming to an end. After a brief introduction, do you have a better understanding of this park now? Now you can follow the route and start your journey officially in the first area. Up ahead, Button House. Uh, the last part of the, noi the note is scribbled out. Okay. Well, I get, I get the lore now. Yes, um... BP, I am sorry that your brain hurts. I would not wish this upon anyone, but I am kind of intrigued by this. I kind of want to complete it. This is just this is just a demo, so there should be... I don't assume there's like too much more left, but yeah. Okay, so small button goes into ball, and then button go into flower. I feel that. As you saw, so shall you reap. As you sow the buttons, so shall you reap the button flowers. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. The first time I came here, there was no park, just a vast empty space. The only attractions were a merry-go-round with tons of teeth and bumper cars on fire, though they were all gone after the construction of this area was completed. But back then, compared to these abnormal facilities, the most inter interesting thing was still the visitor in a black and white teddy bear costume, holding a tattered doll. The teddy visitor looked timid. Don't be shy. Play around with the woo-woo. Yep, to be continued. Okay, all right. So there was a visitor, and the visitor did bad things to the carnival. As far as I'm concerned. All right, Button House. Well, welcome to Button House, everyone. Um, this is... Ridiculous. Uh, the tiles on the floor are made of puzzle pieces. Up ahead, Button House. Okay, well, let's go. Jesus. My brain. My, my brain. Your brain. Everyone's brain. There's brain. But only for a temporary amount of time. A shimmering pool of paint reminds you of the liquid inside the cheap crystal balls so that, so that station station stores. No matter how you slide, slide on it, it doesn't seem to stick onto you. Your damned uniqueness is a lost cause. Yeah, we're so special. Oh my god. A puddle of paint littered with star-shaped flakes. It's hard to see clearly in the lighting, but you can barely recognize that the paints have different colors. The introduction speech at the welcome cable said that the paints that the paints feed the spirits. You are curious about why they how about how how they taste. Okay, so our main the character we're playing as wants to eat paint. Okay, I feel that. You know, that's like legit on God, no cap for real. Ugh. Pinky jelly drink, a pink beverage made of entirely of jelly, including the cup. Mm, okay. So here's the deal. I need some of that. Cause like I'ma die otherwise. Uh can you buy that? No, that's not how it works. Can I buy this? Oh, here. Quantity buy. Oh we can't? Okay, we ain't got no money. Never mind. Well, cannot heal up after all. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got these like cakes. Oh wait, we can use these. Hold on. All right, cool. We got our spirit points. The spirit points back. Which is like our health, I think. Look at the symbols on the lottery boxes, and you will know what prizes they hold. Okay. Look at the look at the symbols on the lottery boxes, and you'll know what prizes they. So the smile 
contains something different to the ticket. The ticket eyeball. I see. Interesting. The art is gorgeous. I really like the look of this game. I'm just so confused by everything that's happening. Box contains... Box is thinking about box containing a box. No. Box is thinking about a box, thinking about a box, thinking about a box. Okay. Get a lottery box from a lottery box. Get another lottery box from a lottery box. And again, get another lottery box from a lottery box. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. Why are there so many teeth on this merry-go-round? The amusement parks weren't like this in where I live. I recall the notice on the, the billboard. Beware of abnormal appearances in Cathetia. Watch out for their spiritual attacks. Is that what abnormal is? Well, dude. I need a second. While I was thinking, I saw a trembling figure waking towards me. Teddy was attacked by the abnormal merry-go-round. Luckily, I had lots of desserts that can heal the spirit, and I shared some with Teddy. Okay. Says so that they were too expensive. There goes most of my saving. Teddy told me that it would be great to have a big spinning wheel of fortune here. Dude, I'm sorry. I cannot read all that dialogue. I, I don't assume it's important. You find another sticker on the writing of this paper? Okay. Dude. Okay. Like, there's reading, and then there's reading, bro. I want some gaming, dude. I want to fight the the, ba the bad people, dude. Hey, backshots. You're into the first trash in Button House already? Uh. So my work as a guide is pretty much over. I'm still really curious about what kind of fun you're going to have. Quick survey. Do you think the moon is made out of blueberries? Are the are the geese swimming in the green box? Are the are the shadows eating oranges in the circus? Yes. Ha ha ha! I expected so. Anyway, where has Dimitri gone to? Being smashed into jam in a terrible accident. Surely that won't happen. But never mind. So how are you? Did you have fun with the welcome cable? Uh, wait one sec. I just realized that my camera needs to be moved. Uh, resume. I learned how to use Aura Code. I'll do that. Ah, that's something only visitors can get. That's strange. No else other than visitors have ever have ever obtained the Aura Code or learned how to use it in the entire of Ketfeia. Uh, you know, it's just cool. I figured it out. I heard this answer before, you're still not wary. I, I think we're supposed to keep secrets about Illusia, so... Let's do it. To be honest, Bakshas, let's whisper for a moment. I have no intention whatsoever to hurt you. I shoulder my one and only duty. To guide the visitors on the right path. If anyone wants you to save Confetia with Oricard, that is definitely the wrong path, leading to the worst ending for the whole Confetia. Why? Bakshas, keep your eyes wide open. Because the illusion is disgustingly fake. What? Just like I said, the first attraction in Button House is just ahead. Huh? Why that face? I didn't say anything weird. Our Wheel of Fortune will provide visitors with delicately designed games. Go ahead with your all-capable Oricard and try our little hero in Confet- in Confet- yeah. No, go ahead with your all-capable Oricard and try our little hero in Confet- yeah? Haha. -ha. Okay, I feel that. Well, back to the topic at hand. Do you like the game booths at carnivals? With all the colorful figures lined up that you can take home if you toss rings onto them? Oh dear, there seems to be more than two of us here. Yeah, I think there are some evil people. Cough, can you hear me? Mmm, mystery boxes. Dear audience, we finally have new visitor to the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The lucky audience this time is... The passing by a lottery box. Huh? With our winner, Woo Woo, inside. I feel that. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say? Well, since our winner ran away, our true lucky winner should now be Backshots. Yes! That was not scripted. If you beat three games, I'll reward you with a big prize. Okay, I feel that. Wait, guys. I have been streaming for not a very long time. 
My brain hurts so bad. <laughs> Jesus. One sec. Let me... How are you, chat? How are you doing? How have you spent your day so far? Because so far, I tried to play a video game called Indigo Park. It broke my entire stream twice. And now I'm playing a game that uh, I do not understand at all, whatsoever. I don't get anything that's happening. Dude, I'm in the same boat. But it's fascinating me. I am fascinated by the flashing colors and lights and confetti. Drinking water, I see. Definitely vodka. It's not vodka, I swear. It's definitely water. <laughs> it's water, I promise. <sighs> Hi, Demetria. Yep, I'm here to play. Uh, hooray, you're alive. Why aren't you smashing the gem? Hold on. I feel like my camera should be here, actually. Piotrek joined the pack of Grassers. Piotrek celebrates four months of membership. Thank you, Piotrek, for celebrates four months of membership. Welcome. Hooray, you're alive. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm happy that you're alive, but... Was there a point that you died? I, I don't even remember. Oh no, back shots. We must have been haunted by hallucinatory, hallucinatory sounds. Can anyone hear me? Hello, hello. If you keep chatting with non-existent things, you'll probably go insane for real. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm, I think so. Becoming someone like Dillarini would be terrifying. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, play with the Wheel of Fortune or everyone will be smashed into jam. Why are people getting smashed into jam? I don't get this. Why is there jam smashing? Great. Hurrah. Also, can you put me down now? Uh, I'll only let you go if back shots beats me. Impossible. Impossible in brackets. Jam on the floor. Okay, so we need to beat Delarini, I think? Wheel of Fortune, you do not know that jumping from this height can even hurt a school kid. I don't want to play games anymore. My game is absolutely fair. You lost, so accept the punishment. Okay. I'm just going to skip ahead. I have no idea what's going on. My brain is fried. I just want to see the flashing colors. Yes, they're clear. Okay. Right. Um... I don't... I, th I think we're supposed to. I think we're supposed to beat these mofos. I think that's the goal, right? Unless something else is the goal. I, I don't know. Hello, mates. Hello, Tiffany. Uh, welcome to Illusion Carnival. This game is as actually like breaking my brain so many times. You caught eight dolls, yeah. Here's your reward, 640 vouchers. You can buy plenty of sweets with them. Hey. Sorry grabbed by the swarm of hands and I thought it was brought here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What happened with back shots? Uh, I took a ride on the welcome cable. Sounds like another treat, but it's actually a trick. Okay. What is this shit game? It, 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 it's called Illusion Carnival. It has flashing colors. And I have no idea what's going on. It's a demo. It was recommended by someone in the Discord server. And I am fascinated by it. Uh, go into the circle. Shock a bunny? What bunny? What bunny? I don't see one! Oh wait, that one. Oh. Open a box. Okay. Shock a teddy bear? Okay. Got one. Hell yeah. This game looks disturbing but cool. I am very disturbed on so many different levels. Open a box. Yep, the box was open. Move. I, 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 I've I, moved. Yep, there's moving. Don't move. Okay. Move. Okay, moving. Yep, there's moving. Definitely moving. Open a box. What do you mean? Oh, okay. There's another one. Uh, that one. Pack of Grass Cyberpunk playthrough. I would watch that. 
I don't have cyberpunk. Go up. Move. What do you mean? But go down. I'm. Stand next to a box. M move. Go left. I, I went left. Move. Uh, go down. What do you mean? I'm down. I'm down. This is actually disturbing. I'm following all your instructions. Come forth to the wheel of fortune. Yep, come in. Dude. What a pity. Uh, okay. You can't run away. I'm flying. Clear. For the last game, the generous wheel of fortune will allow you to take a break outside. If you can't find Dimitri after the game starts, you can never leave this place. I feel that. Start now. I want I want to get the 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 bears and shit. Find the box with Dimitri inside. Uh this one? Nope. Uh this one? Wait. I mean it should say on the front of the box, no? This one? Okay, it's definitely the bottom right one. It is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, of course. It had to be the, the bottom right one. Do you know where Dimitri is? Ha, ah, how should I know? I'm busy eavesdropping on the whispers from inside the box. Okay, you do that. I am happy with this. Find the box with Dimitri inside again? Hi. You must be confused. Yep, I am confused. Mm. Okay, which one are you? Are you still here? No. Okay, there's a brain with eyeballs on it. Uh here? Dude, please. I'm here. What do you mean you're here? This is great gaming. It's definitely the bottom right box. Nope. Follow my voice? Where's your voice? Can you hear me? No, I can't! <laughs> Back shots. Did I die? Your spirit collapsed in the embrace of Compedia. Oh, I died. O okay. Restage? Where, where does it put us? I've never had something break my brain this badly. Yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop. I, I need to stop this. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, that is the greatest piece of art I have ever seen in my life. But what is going on? I have no idea.